30% individuals lose vaccine acquired immunity after 6 months according to a study so is it true that covid vaccine booster efficacy against the infection might fade quickly see primarily you see all those vaccines which have been giving you know whether it is oxford astrazeneca or it is pfizer vaccine it was known you know from earlier times as well you know because you are measuring the neutralizing antibodies in any case so they you know appear to be declining over a period of time so that's how you know across the world the studies were you know or rather you know there was push from across that we should be giving you know another dose of vaccine so that it will boost up the immunity immediately but you see what is important is that again we have to remember from the science perspective that even if you know you have given the vaccine right the body has got the antigen the antibodies may wane off but your memory cells are always going to remember so whenever there is a attack by the antigen of the same nature similar nature maybe a variant you see in that case basically the immune mechanism is going to get boosted up but then you know addressing the concern from the science perspective that you want to boost up the neutralizing antibodies immediately in that case you know it is better that you know after a period of about like what we have decided in indian settings because of hybrid immunity we are going to give after 9 months and across the world they have started giving after you know 6 months period so that's how moderna pfizer and all you know have started giving after 6 months but what we have to remember is that those countries if you talk about the developed world they are mostly relied on the vaccine acquired immunity from day 1 you know mm-hmm. they start vaccination program much earlier so from day 1 you know they have been giving vaccines and vaccines and vaccines right mm-hmm. and if you look at you know some of the countries they have started giving even the fourth dose as well mm-hmm. unlike india where mm-hmm. we have talked about precautionary dose now but other countries are also they have started giving the fourth mm-hmm. dose but what is more important is to wait and watch but more important my message for those countries will be that you see if you have enough supply of vaccines you please give it to other countries because you see what is important is you must remember how omicron came omicron came because our african continent was only 1% vaccinated mm-hmm. right and country south africa per se had only 29 to 30% what virus requires virus finds a susceptible host that means the host or the individual who does not have a immunity right mm. so in that case if there is no immunity the virus is going to enter there is going to multiply and then is going to you know the person suffers or succumbs to the infection and then he passes on the infection to others so you see if african continent also would have had sufficient immunity through vaccines like 70 to 80% would have been you know already immunized so infection would have been milder it will also affect the transmissibility would have been lower so you know omicron like variants will keep coming unless we believe in equity and equality i say that this is known as hoarding of vaccines if countries do not you know uh, pass on the vaccines to other countries after fulfilling their needs <laughs>